What's going on, y'all? Fort Worth Fabian. I'm back again with a video. I'm actually doing a reaction to Bob Seeger Night Moves, man. Be sure to like the video, comment down below. Let me know y'all's thoughts overall on the content on the video. Uh, any insight you may provide according to Bob Seeger, maybe the song itself, man. Peace, love to everybody out there. Taking time out to even watch the content, man. This is a reaction channel. We specialize in music content, but it's really entertainment of all forms. So if you have a, a specific recommendation, put it down in the comment section, man. Peace, love, prosperity to everybody rocking with the channel, man. Let's just go ahead and right, hop right into it. Tall, could have used a few pounds. Tight pants, points, hollering down. She was a black hat beauty with big dark eyes and points all her own, sudden way up high. Way up firm and high. Out past the cornfields when the woods got heavy. Out in the back seat of my 60 Chevy mm. Working on mysteries without any clues Working on our night moves Trying to make some front page driving news Working on our night moves He got right to it, didn't he? Didn't he? So Night Moves, man. Is, so supposedly the ninth studio album by uh, Bob Seger. First studio album to credit the Silver Bullet Band. Album was released in Cap on Capitol Records in 76. The front cover credits backing by the Silver Bullet Band for four of the nine songs on the album featured backing by the Musical Shoals Rhythm Selection. So this was a well-received album by critics. Uh, three singles were released from this album. So self-titled. Self-titled. And this is obviously on his greatest hits album as well. Okay. Okay. What were the other singles? So Night Moves, Main Street, which I think I've already done a reaction to, and Rock and Roll Never Forgets. Those were both released in 77. In the summertime. Some high in the sky, some we were just young and restless and bored, living by the sword. And we steal away every chance we could. The back room to the alley or the trusty wood. Mm. You're talking about what I, I think he's talking about. She used me, but neither one cared. We were getting our share, working on our night moon. I knew it, I knew it. So supposedly this is a coming of age tale. So he wrote the song as a coming of age tale about adolescent love and adult memory of it. It's based on Seeger's teenage love affair, which he experienced in the early 60s. It took him six months to write, where it was recorded quickly at Nimbus 9 Studios in Toronto, Ontario with producer Jack Richardson. Uh, as much of Seeger's silver bullet band had returned home by this point, the song was recorded with several local session musicians. So I, obviously the context of the song, he's talking about stealing time away. And he talked about some specific lo locations where it seemed like they was talking about doing a nasty. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, But it's funny how like sometimes songs can take so long to record, as they mentioned, or... Let me flip that around. It, a song takes so long to be formulated, right? It takes so long to write it put it into context maybe know how you want to deliver it uh, or even know if you want to use it for yourself or you could just pass it to another artist but in terms of laying the record down clockwork a lot of these gr greats goats uh that you 
we can call them so to speak can lay down music like this but a lot of times the creative process in developing the music maybe what 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 uh aspect or uh, topic or maybe from uh, what point of view i want to speak or discuss uh in formulating and just writing the record may take longer than normal but when it's time to lay it down Lay it down like clockwork. You hear? Oh, wonder. Felt the lightning. Yeah. Waited on the thunder. Woo! I knew it. I knew it. My boy waiting on the thunder, you feel me? I woke last night to the sound of thunder. How far off I sat and wondered. Started humming a song from 1962. Mm. In a funny how the night moves. When you just don't seem to have as much to lose. Mm. Strange how the night moves With autumn closing in He just had to slow it down like that. I like it. And now we're going to pick up the tempo again. Night moves. The night moves. So additionally, let, let, let's just kind of discuss this. It says... This song, as we mentioned, teen love, adolescent love, but has roots in, uh, obviously, his experience during that period of actually hanging with a certain rougher crowd who thought he was cool because he played music. The song's contents are large, largely autobiographical. For example, the group of friends would often hold parties they call grassers, which involved going to a farmer's field outside Ann Arbor, Michigan, to dance. Those these he met through this, he met a woman credited as Renee Andretti. In the encyclopedia of great popular song recordings, who boyfriend in the military was away. It's about the dark haired Italian girl that I went out with when I was 19. She was one year older than me, he later recalled. And he pursued a romance with her, but eventually her boyfriend returned and they married, leaving Seeger brokenhearted. So many of his early songs were written to impress the girl. So her, he, he was head over heels, it sounded like. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, he bet he remembers the Italian girl for sure. Bob Seger, Night Moves, man. So pretty much his whole experience when he was dating the Italian girl. The Italian girl had a whole boyfriend. She was cheating. <laughs> and Bob Seger was getting it in. Okay, okay, man. Bob Seger, Night Moves, man. Let me know y'all's thoughts on that one in the comment section below, man. I like, um, obviously, great song. Uh, you know, the tempo fluctuates and changes. I like that kind of the part where things calm down and he's kind of 
he digresses in order to just up the tempo once more. So shout out Bob Seger, man. With that being said, comment down below. Maybe y'all's favorite Bob Seger songs. Any additional recommendations, man. Peace, love, prosperity. God bless y'all. We'll see y'all in the next reaction video. We out.